Hot wheels and much horsepower are well presented at this year's Festival of Speed. Every year the event in Goodwood attracts thousands of visitors from all over the world. And this time there's also a novel racetrack to discover. Just that it's not for cars, but for drones. Drones have been around quite a while and they've been flying fixed wings forever. Um, this is kind of a new concept on flight, um, kind of the evolution to the pers those small helicopters that they were flying around. Um, and they're so fast, it's, it's very much like a Formula One race where they're taking gates and chicanes and it's almost 4D where you can go through an air gate like this and a split S and come back down. Um, it's very, very exciting. Great crashes and sometimes there's fires. Not all the time, but sometimes. So very much like a road race. You are uh, zero to 60 in less than a second, right around a second. They're extremely, extremely fast. Um, the pilots have to be on their A game when they fly. Um, and they're flying right from the cockpit, so they're visualizing what comes out of this camera on these goggles. So to them, their brain is telling them they're sitting in the cockpit of an aircraft. This sport is very much like Xbox on steroids. My, my counterparts always give me a hard time about that, but, but it is. It's so exciting, and you're immersed in it just like you are if you're sitting in front of the TV, but you get to be outside and, and breathe clean air and talk with people and interact, and it, it's just a wonderful, it's a wonderful, wonderful sport. Conrad is one of the drone racers here, and the sport has made him leave behind his motorcycle. For a while, I was, you know, I was getting into racing drones, and I was still riding my motorcycle, but after about a year, I started to favor racing drones, so I just sold the motorcycle. And, and why is that? Why did you favor them? Um, so, the reason I rode motorcycles is because, you know, there's like an intensity to it, and you have to focus when you're, when you're riding in the mountains and in in doing track days, um, and I get the same intensity from racing drones. Okay, that's and it's much safer and cheaper. With the amount of engineering that goes into one of these drones, in the USA they're now being included in the science and technology curriculum in schools. And the UK won't be far behind. A great one is physics, right? To understand how the drone is working, you have these propellers that are airfoils creating lifts, so you have to talk about forces and Bernoulli's principle and how is the drone able to fly. Another great one is electronics. You have all these different components. You have the LED, you have the flight controller that regulates the programs on the drones, you have this video transmitter system that allows the drone to send camera feed to your goggles, which is what makes the racing possible. And so to get all of this to work, you have to understand and the electron flow and how it's going through there. If you switch two wires, your drone's going to start smoking and you're going to have to replace parts. And so there's a real incentive to understand how it works because it's very real world. If you don't understand, it makes it a lot harder when you do suddenly you can start building your own drones, really engage at a deeper level. In the UK, STEM education is just starting to really pick up, which is really exciting. And so we're taking what we've been learning in the States, being involved in STEM education, and people seem really interested, how do we bring this into school? So we had five school children from a local school here come in and fly it, and every single one of them said, yes, sign them up, they want to be drone racers. We're the first charity to get chosen, and we're going to be the whole distribution network for for us to take it to take the STEM network and education program through all the schools in the UK. It gives us the element where we can actually now provide a full stream of different um, activities to children from all different types of backgrounds, whether they come from a well-educated background, a disadvantaged background, boys, girls, disabled, um, a more able-bodied, it doesn't matter. This The drone technology for from the engineering point of view to the programming to the flying, it gives everybody a great aspect. Nicole Ries, that's TV.